And the guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add different transition between two clips in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Double click on your project panel to import the two clips. Drag the two clips into your timeline, which is going to create a sequence for you automatically. Let's cut these two clips to reduce the duration by pressing Ctrl key on our keyboard. Ctrl key. Drag the other half of this clip to the first one, and which to shorten our clip duration. Now go to effect panel, type in the slide in the search bar, click on this band slide and drag it in between the two clips. Now hit space bar on your keyboard to click to see the effects. So that's the first transition. The next Delete the pass light effect by hitting delete key on your keyboard. Search for the cross to solve. Cross to solve. This is it. Drag it onto your timeline. Drag your play back a few, a few frames backward. Hit on spacebar. As you can see, the cross dissolve allows a smooth transition between the, between the two clips by using the opacity of the first clip directly into the second clip. So that has cross dissolve. Click on the. You can see that my cursor changes from this mouse to this kind of cursor. If your cursor goes from this to, to this, yeah, that means you are trying to select the effect. Click on it once and hit on delete key. So I updated the cross dissolve effect. Now let's search for the deep to white transition. You drag it in between your two clips. Click on space buff. Can I see? Let me play it again. So that's your deep to white effect. Click on it, click on the links. The deep to black twin does almost the same thing, but takes it to a black screen before it shows the second clip. But that's a deep, deep to black effect. I can increase or reduce the duration, the duration of this transition with dragging this effect between the two clips. Drag it. You can see that it is increasing on both sides, and you can. We take make it longer on the first clip so to take a while on the first clip before the second clip shows as you can see so click on this effect delete it let's search for i'm going to show you one last effect which is the page peel what I don't know whether it is being used. But this is the page peel effect. If your PC is having issue showing a preview or playback, you can go to this. You can see this box here that says full. Click on this drop down and select and reduce the playback resolution to about one quarter. What this does is that the quality of your preview will reduce so as to allow your PC to be able to preview this effect for you smoothly. So that's it for this short tutorial, see you in the next one.